Hello and welcome to a Draft House Diary for Monday, April 29th, 2024. When I came out here to the Alamo Draft House at Littleton's Aspen Grove to see Alien, the 1979 movie in its special 45th anniversary re-release. I'm not going to say very much about the movie because the main reason I was coming out here is that it is going to be an upcoming episode of the Intermillennium Media Project podcast. I'll add a link to that podcast in the description down below once that's been released. But I have committed to recording and uh, documenting every one of my visits to the Alamo. So this was, it was amazing to see this on a big screen. I believe I saw this, I was in middle school, but I saw it opening week in 1979. I think it might have been opening night that was kind of an amazing experience, and I have not seen it on a big screen since then. So this was a treat. It's an amazing movie, of course, and as I say, I'll talk about that more on the podcast. As for other parts of my trip to the Alamo, the pre-show was a lot of fun. It had bits about H.R. Giger and his work, including some a music video sort of montage, a Deborah Harry video, and a very strange animated bit about H.R. Giger trying to deal with his son and vice versa. The pre-show also included a montage of 100 alien sightings from the history of cinema. So they started with Melies from the Earth to the Moon and kept going until very recently. And at the end, they gave a list of all 100 uh, films from which these clips had been taken, but they didn't identify them during the montage. And that was kind of fun because you got to play spot the clip. Can you identify what movie this is from? So that was fun. They also had a number of trailers for alien knockoffs, like the Italian Alien 2 looked pretty dreadful. And some fun clips, YouTube clips, a Japanese commercial, lots of things that were having fun with the trappings of Alien over the years. And the pre-show ended with a clip from local TV news somewhere in Texas about the phenomenon of parents bringing rather young children to screenings of Alien. They were sort of raising the question about whether this was responsible. They were asking the parents if they had any regrets about taking their kids to see this movie now that they had seen it and knew how violent it was, asking the kids if they enjoyed it, if they were scared, often yes to both of those questions. So that was an interesting little time capsule, not only about response to this movie, but also how movies were part of culture 45 years ago. And after the pre-show, this appeared to be part of the 45th anniversary re-release, there was a conversation between Fede Alvarez, who directed Alien Romulus, which is coming out later this year, and Ridley Scott, who of course directed the original Alien. And that was very interesting because uh, you really got a sense of Alvarez's reverence and fascination with this original movie, which of course he has if he's directing uh, its new sequel. And also we got to hear from Ridley Scott some interesting information about how this was made, how Alien was made, and some of the tricks they used to get the most mileage out of their relatively modest budget, and really giving great credit to a lot of the crew, to Jerry Goldsmith and the, the amazing score. So that was a, uh, a fun uh, conversation to see going into this movie. I did get some food at this screening. I got a pepperoni pizza and we shared some churro popcorn, and the pizza was good, as always, the churro popcorn, also good. And while the food was good, the service was a little bit odd. Our server had a trainee with her, which is not uncommon, and I know it's important to have a trainee shadow uh, an experienced server. But they didn't even come to our seats to check our tickets, let alone take an order, until a good 40, 45 minutes after we had sat down, after the pre-show began. So we were well into post-pre-show trailers, and therefore, we didn't actually get served any food until quite a while into the feature. So that made the whole uh, experience a little bit re less relaxing than it usually is. And I don't know that having a trainee with the server would have slowed things down. So I'm not entirely sure what was happening. I know that at prime time, uh, early evening screenings like this, they tend to be busier. Service tends to be a little bit slow, but this was slower than I think I've seen before. But still, it was a comfortable theater, a fun time at the movies, and 
an amazing movie to see once again on a big screen. I hope you enjoyed this Draft House Diary. If you did, please click that like button down below. And if you want more, click the subscribe button. But most important, thank you very much for joining me. I'll be back soon. And in the meantime, enjoy your movies and stay till the end of the credits.